we purposely uh, used the same uh, intro slide, uh, George and myself, uh, and therefore my presentation will be hopefully in continuity and, and consistent <laughs> with uh, George's uh, contribution. Uh, uh, of course, as the spirit of this session uh, has been developed by uh, uh, Wendy and Luke, uh, this is a personal view, right? We did not attempt to, uh, to make an history of the web or an history of the World Wide Web Consortium. Actually, there are two other speakers later uh, today, Bebo White and uh, Judy Brewer, who will bring uh, you know, their own personal view. So this, this is a total of four personal views during the sessions. And uh, this is the way uh, you should uh, consider uh, this presentation. So I will start. Uh, so uh, you know you, you see lots of links between presentation here. Here, this is a link from uh, Fabian uh, to, to my presentation. And uh, the view on the article uh, published by uh, the Atlantic Monthly uh, in uh, 1945 by Vannevar Bush. Uh, this article is, uh, so uh, Fabien explained that uh, Vannevar Bush was uh, proposing the design of a machine called Memex um, that will allow uh, for people to uh, share uh, information and store knowledge. Uh, the, Actually, we, we are just after World War II. The scientists of, uh, of our world have uh, you know, worked in order to end that war. And uh, Vannevar Bush, who has been uh, in charge of this uh, scientific effort uh, during the war, uh, at the end of it, uh, says, OK, now all this energy, all this talent, all this uh, experience that, has, that we have as a community of scientists uh, should be uh, should be shared for uh, other purposes and uh, and the purpose is highlighting is uh, making making science more accessible uh, uh, and be able to store knowledge for the benefit of all right in a peace world as we were uh, after 1945. Okay, so that's the vision from Vannevar Bush now. The, the, it's only a vision, and the machine he was talking, he was proposing the Memex machine was an analog machine, since the transistor was invented two years after he wrote uh, this article. So this is the first view on uh, what would ultimately uh, become the web, but this is in a pre-digital world. Uh, fast forward 20 years, and uh, Doug Engelbart now uh, can benefit uh, from uh, microelectronics. And uh, he, in his one of a famous presentation uh, in 1968 called The Mother of All Demos, he shows most of the concepts uh, instantiated in a research environment, his own research laboratory. Uh, but at the moment, uh, the internet is in, still is in, in its infancy. And, and uh, actually, uh, Doug's laboratory has participated in the uh, uh, ARPANET four nodes experiment in 1968. So yes, the ideas are there, but they are not deployed. Similarly, uh, the personal computer is, uh, you know, we had uh, at the time there were microprocessors and so forth, but the first personal computer uh, to uh, have the capability to leverage uh, uh, Doug uh, research uh, is uh, usually mentioned as the Alto uh, machine from uh, Xerox Park and is dated 1972. So in the presentation here, Doug can envision the future, uh, mention structure, document, text, graphics, cooperative work, and so on. But uh, uh, the deployment is not there. So we're still at the research world. All right, so I, I wanted to pay Tribute to those two major contribution in the history of the web. Now, of course, fast forward, and we're going back uh, to uh, to the, the story of the web. Uh, with, as I said, my view, uh, which to some extent uh, I, I hope complements uh, uh, George's uh, presentation. So, first, uh, how do we meet? So, we are in 1994. You remember that 1994 was a, a key year uh, in, in George's presentation. In April 1994, uh, right after one month after the Metsovo meeting uh, that uh, uh, George mentioned, uh, Alain meets uh, Hubert Curien, 
uh, who, is, uh, who at the time was uh, president of the CERN Council and uh, was a former French Minister of Research. Alain and Hubert were going along, uh, were very close. And Irian and Hubert comes uh, with Tim and uh, Robert Caillot. And uh, from the Inria side, uh, Anna Ben Susan, Gilles Khan, who will later become president uh, of the Institute and uh, has now passed away from cancer uh, a few years ago. Uh, Vincent Quin, uh, who had designed a, an SGML based tool, which will be uh, used uh, by the consortium from that tool uh, called Graph, uh, the a, a tool, a, a software environment will be designed by Vincent in order to test the new capabilities of the web. Uh, Bertrand Melez was heading a company which was uh, selling the software from Vincent and myself. I had been involved in previous uh, in previous uh, instances in the X Window Consortium, so I knew about how it worked and, uh, and so on. And uh, during the, that lunch, uh, Tim shares the intention to build a World Wide Web Consortium under the model of the X Consortium. So we go along immediately. That's the first time I met Tim. Uh, a few days later, uh, Tim sends me email and uh, offered to come back to INRIA for a one-on-one -on -one conversation. He wants to assess whether INRIA could help in developing the web. And uh, I will learn later that so he, he had doubts uh, that about the fact that CERN could really do it. So he was looking for alternatives. Uh, in June, uh, Alvesa uh, from MIT uh, visits INRIA and uh, during a tour, and he is also uh, trying to put together a plan B in case CERN would not be able to become the European host. So I know he visited the University of Darmstadt, uh, Oxford University, and so on. In June, uh, the first, uh, so there is a, a, at least at the beginning and still now, I assume, but uh, a, a close relationship between the conference series uh, we are talking uh, about today and, uh, and the, the rise of the World Wide Web Consortium. So the first conference is held in Geneva, organized by CERN in June. Uh, in August, the IW3C2, the organization which uh, has managed the web conference series since, since then, is founded uh, in, uh, in Boston. And in October, the second, at the time, the conferences were held two times a year, right? Uh, so in October, uh, the second World War Web conference is held in Chicago, and uh, INRIA submits uh, the proposal to host uh, the fifth uh, conference in May 96. Uh, so now, you know, we're getting to the end of uh, 1994. Uh, the, the consortium has been officially created by MIT on October 1st, 1994. They held the first uh, general meeting in Boston in December. And the next day, uh, the uh, symmetry meeting is held in Brussels. And as George mentioned, between Christmas and New Year, uh, uh, Alain Bensousson received a call from George uh, asking whether uh, Europe would become, uh, INRIA would become the European host. So uh, Alain considered this is a gift. This is the time of gift between Christmas and New Year, right? And he says yes. And, uh, and in January, and he asked me to, you know, to organize this initiative. So in January, I visit CERN. And I meet uh, Henrik Frischik Nielsen and Okon Lee, the two engineers that were working with Tim. Uh, so we're part of the, of the web team uh, within CERN. Uh, and uh, following that meeting, Henrik decides to move to MIT. He will play a key role in the development of HTTP. And Okon decides to be the first team member of the European team. And he will be uh, uh, the father of the style sheets. Uh, for the web called CSS. Uh, in April 95, uh, I meet Alveza during the, so yet another example of the connection with the conference in the third World Wide Web Conference in Darmstadt. And we, we uh, decide to trans, the, the membership agreement, uh, which is the key uh, contractual document uh, for the consortium was titled at the time MIT World Wide Web Consortium. But after the agreement, 
it becomes the Internal World Wide Web Consortium, which is it's still uh, today. Uh, I became the Associate Chairman for Europe, and uh, we organized the first workshop on style sheets uh, with Ocon as the, as the lead. And uh, in November, at the end of 95, we assembled uh, more than 1,000 people in Paris to recognize that uh, the presence uh, of uh, Europe in, in the, at the uh, World Wide Web Consortium table is now solid with 20 full members, large company, uh, in the presence of uh, Tim, Michael, George, and Alveza. In 96, uh, 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 we organized the first, uh, the first uh, AC stands for advisory committee. It's the general meeting of the, of the World Wide Web Consortium. We organized the first one in Europe uh, in the CNIT uh, La Défense. Actually, it's, I use it as a rehearsal for the <laughs> conference which is held in May, uh, uh, in, May uh, in the same uh, place. Uh, that conference will gather 2,300 uh, attendees and uh, there will be more than 15. At the time, there was an exhibition of uh, web technology uh, next to the conference and more than 15,000 people will visit the exhibition. I guess lots of people remember that the social event was held under the Louvre pyramid uh, in May 96. In uh, June 96, uh, the next AC meeting uh, in Boston, uh, uh, it's the first time the membership, the team, you know, the, the stakeholders of the, uh, of the consortium are in the same room and uh, the members strongly, I use the diplomatic term, uh, request that W3C design an open process uh, to manage the organization. So there is a tough discussion during, during that, that meeting. At the same time, uh, Alveza uh, decides to retire. He, there was an offer from MIT that has nothing to do with the World Wide Web Consortium, it's personal decision. And uh, Michael and Tim asked me to take the chair position. So in July, we opened the third host in Japan at Keio University. And in September, I moved to MIT and my first priority is to design the process, the open process, which is of course has evolved since then, but. Uh, is still uh, available for anybody who wants to know how the W3C works. Uh, just to conclude, uh, you know, be precise on the three pillars that uh, that uh, uh, Fabien presented uh, and that you all know about uh, the three pillars that makes the web what it is. And uh, so, when uh, since when Tim uh, proposed the first version of each of these pillars. Of course, there was no World Wide Web Consortium. You can see here, for example, the submission of the, for the addresses, the URIs and URL dated from uh, uh, June 94. This was submitted at the IETF, the Internet Engineering Task Force, and will remain uh, at, the, uh, at the IETF over the years. Uh, the HTTP, the protocol will also remain uh, at IETF, but with a strong contribution from the W3C team, Jim Geddes and Henrik Frischtick Nielsen, who I mentioned earlier was part of the original team in, um, in Geneva, were key uh, uh, participants and uh, editors in the HTTP uh, successive releases. Here you see the HTTP 1.1. Uh, and for HTML, different choice was made after HTML 2.0 had been um, uh, an IETF uh, recommendation. So you see here an RFC uh, from IETF uh, number 1866 uh, for HTML 2.0. Actually, it was decided uh, with a cooperation with, uh, with uh, Aral and Vestrand at that time, uh, IETF, that uh, HTML would move to W3C and follow the W3C process. And you see one of the first uh, specification of HTML 3.2 uh, coming from uh, W3C. So we got organized, and I think I'll skip that for the sake of time, uh, uh, addressing the various uh, issue with, I will mention the one which is at the bottom, the Web Accessibility Initiative launched in 1997 with support from the White House and the European Commission. And uh, reason number one is because of its importance, it was, put on par with the other more technical uh, 
um, uh, activities within the consortium. And also uh, Judy uh, will uh, present it uh, later today uh, in, uh, in the upcoming session. And I'll conclude uh, with this slide, which is difficult to see, but that's not important. Uh, it gives you the idea that, uh, you know, when we had the 10th anniversary of the World Wide Web Consortium, we used that slide. That's why I just on purpose copy pasted it. And uh, lots of things, if you zoom uh, on your screen, you'll be able to see uh, the elements presented. I just highlighted two. Uh, the conference at the bottom, it's the conference series, so the conference in Santa Clara, because you will hear from Bibo White in a, in a few moments. And uh, at the top, the Web Accessibility Initiative, as I said, will be uh, introduced by uh, Judy. So um, again, I took the links from George and Fabien. I am handing over the links to uh, Bibo and uh, Judy. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>